So let's start. So before, we have to review the forms of simple past. Do you remember the forms? Of course, we have three forms. Affirmative form, negative form, interrogative form. So what do you remember about affirmative form? What kind of verbs did we have? We had regular verbs, but each one has a category. So first category, all regular verbs, we add ed. Good. Second, verbs ending in vowels, plus y, we add ed. Same rule. What are the next verbs? Yes, verbs ending in consonants, plus y. Remember, we omit the y, and then we add ied. Now the next are the verbs ending in a vowel plus consonant, like stop. You remember, stopped, we double the consonant, and then we add ied. Last one, verbs ending in e, we just add d, like close, closed. Now we move to negative form. Do you remember this form? I know you remember. Take your time. Yes. We have the subject first. Then, plus didn't. This is the simple past of which verb? Which one? Yes, the verb to do. Didn't. And it's in negative form. And then plus the verb without changing anything. Remember, we don't change the verb. The verb stays in infinitive form. So now we move to the last form, interrogative form, which are questions. Do you remember the form? Take your time again. I know you remember it. Yes, good job. We Now we don't start with the subject. We start with the verb did. In the past simple, it's in the past simple, the verb to do in the past simple, plus subject, plus verb. The verb again does not change here. We don't add ed or ied, nothing. We change nothing because we already have an auxiliary at the beginning. Good. Now let's practice these forms. So your first exercise, look at the question that you have. Fill in the blanks with the verbs stayed, happened, watched, tried. So you have four verbs, four sentences. What do you think for the first sentence? I and you have the jacket. Can we say I stayed the jacket? Of course not. What do we say? Which verb are you going to use? Let's see if you get the correct one. And I know you do. Yes. Good job. I tried the jacket. We try clothes that we want to wear. How about the second one? She and we have home. Which verb do you think? Which verb are you going to use? Stayed, happened, watch it. Which one? Okay, now you know. Good. Stayed. She stayed home. Now the third sentence. We, the subject, the movie. This one is very simple and easy. I know you know it already. Good. Watch it, the movie. And now the last one is an easy one because you only have the last verb is the verb happened. What happened last night? This is a question. Excellent work, guys. So now let's move to the other exercise. Exercise number two. So now you have verbs between brackets. To play, to study, to walk, not to cry. These verbs are between brackets and we want them to put them into the simple past. What do you think about the first sentence? The cat to play in the garden. What's the simple past here of the verb play? Remember, you have a category here, verb ending in Y. See what's behind the Y. You have A. So what do you do? We have seen it before. It's very easy. Okay, take your time again. Good job. Play it. We just add ED. 
Now we move to the second sentence. You have interrogative form. What do we do with the interrogative form? What do we start with? We start with an auxiliary in the past form. What was the auxiliary? The verb to do. And the past form is? What's the past form? Did. So we start with did, subject, and then the verb. Yes, good job. Did he study Spanish? Excellent work, you guys. You're getting it now. So let's move to the other sentence. You have to walk. Walk it. This one is very easy. We have a regular verb. We just add ed. Now, let's take the last one. You have negative form. Remember the negative form. What do we use? The verb to do again in the past and in the negative form. Yes, didn't. But we start with what? With the subject, the baby. So, you get the hint. I almost gave you the answer. Now, let's see if you get the same answer. Yes, didn't cry. The baby didn't cry a lot. Excellent job again. And let's move now to the next exercise. Now, look guys, you have sentences, three sentences. They are words between slashes. You are going to rewrite these words into a sentence. But remember, the order is there. You don't have to move any word. So you start with the subject he, and then you put the verb to play into simple past, and then you add football last night. You don't change anything. Look at the first one, and then I will let you do the two last sentences on your own. So let's see number one. Look, he, it's the same place you have in slashes. To play becomes play. This is to play in simple past. We add ed. And then football, last night, we don't change any place. These words are in order. Don't change the words. Just give me the simple past of the verbs. So let's see if you can do number two. I know you can do it. Just look at number one and then apply the same rule. Are we good? So let's see if you get it right. So this is the answer coming up. Here we go. We agreed about the movie. So look at the verb agree. We have an E at the end. So we just add D. Now you do number three, the last one. Let me hear your answers. I know you know it now. Are you there yet? Try, you have just the verb to like. And you have again E at the end, like agree. What do you add? It's easy, very easy. So let's see the answer together and correct if you have any mistakes. I liked the music last week. So for the last thing we have to do, is your homework and it's going to be very simple again just to help you uh, remember the forms and practice your simple past form so your homework listen carefully you have to rewrite these sentences into the simple past look at the sentence number one i love watching tv which tense do you have here remember which tense this tense, we had the review of it in the last video at the beginning. Which tense is it? Yes, this is simple present. I love watching TV. Which form is this? Is it affirmative, negative, interrogative? What do you think? Yes, it's affirmative, of course. Second one, my sister doesn't like TV. This one is negative form so each sentence has a form is it negative interrogative or affirmative but the verb is in present so your job you have to change the tense of the verb only so for example i love watching tv love i would say in the past i loved watching tv so love becomes l-o-v-e-d 
in the past. So I give you just an example so as to do the three other sentences on your own. So now we have finished our practice. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you next time. Thank you for your attention again.